Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the rock full of brains, a bunch of asteroids stuffed full of scientists. That's right, we've got such famous scientists as uh, Swan Levick, Goddard, Faraday over here. We've got uh, Bohr, Rutherford, Hubble, and of course on Pi Axelid we have Maxwell, Rubin, Curie, Planck, and Franklin. Today I have a major goal of trying to sort out the, uh, the heating situation on on Pi Axelin. It's getting a little hot over here, it's getting a little bit out of hand. There's not just that I want to do, I also want to be able to start rem removing this super hot igne igneous rock that we've got here. It's about a thousand degrees, uh, we are not going to be able to deal with it with our normal situation, so we're definitely going to have to start thinking about how we're going to break our way into here, this little steam box, and double the number of thermo aqua tuners we have. Thankfully, because I did a little bit of pre-planning, a little bit of thinking ahead, we actually have room to move this, this whole setup over one, and then have a similar situation right next door to it and this should enable us to feed the water through one then the other and come out with uh, hopefully 12 degree water I, re I really would like to get the temperature of our water down very low very low because by the time it makes its way all the way around our entire cooling system let's see if we can figure out where it goes it comes from this room uh, down past our water purification chamber through the power plant past all the industrial zone comes up past what used to be some grow rooms rooms uh back past all of the water here yeah there's, there's there's a lot going on over here and unfortunately because our cool steam vent is uh, is still growing we need to make that much much cooler but that's not the only place that we've got cooling systems on the go these two up here are also cooling we need to figure out why they're not doing the best that they can do over here mostly they're overwhelmed and i'm hoping that if we get this one up and running we can just start leaching the heat away and that should bring us all down i mean like look this is this is nice and chill over here and this whole pipeway through here is nice and chill so may maybe maybe we can start bringing look we've even got cold over here I i'm hoping this means that like getting on top of the temperatures shouldn't be too difficult of course I do say that, I have absolutely no idea how we're going to break in there at the moment. My plan at the moment is to try and construct maybe a liquid lock here. If we uh, take out this door, put a tile underneath the tile here, we're going to have to take this this one out as well. But maybe we can sort out some sort of way, oh, we're going to have problems with all the heavy wire that's kicking around as well. But that should be things that we can play with and make work a little bit better for us. It is definitely going to take a little bit of reshuffling though. Uh, perhaps if I get this wire and pull it off over here. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is an absolute mess, but hopefully this should fix everything that we need to fix here. Uh, of course, coming in with the high construction priorities should also help. I think Kiri's just going to get straight on it. I don't I don't think there's much else that she's got to be doing. She's deconstructing and constructing. Yeah, that's cool. There is some small fabrication orders to be done, but Franklin also goes around and does that for her. In fact, can we find Franklin? Probably in the middle of going to the oil refinery to fabricate, of course. Anything that Kiri needs to do somewhere down her list Franklin is going to have up higher because she is the operator and Curie is the builder. Okay, two considerations before I actually bust into there. One is the liquid that I want to use. Obviously, as we've got a 200 degree steam here, I don't really want to be touching any of that with any water. If I drop any water in there, either polluted or otherwise, I don't know what the boiling point of polluted water is, but I know it's not um, 150, it's 120. So if any of that steam comes into any contact with any of my regular waters, we're definitely going to have ourselves a bit of a bad time. So I'm going to drop petroleum on there. The other thing is I really wanted to have a vacuum right here so I've asked for this tile to be built and destroyed and yes there we go we've got a we've got a beautiful little vacuum the next thing we need to do is to uh, get this no pending deliveries how about if we I bet I bet we have no auto bottle at all don't we hmm Petroleum, petroleum, petroleum. How how do we get some of this stuff out of this hermetically sealed area? I mean, the, the trick is we don't. We do have other areas where we can grab some out from. Like, there, there's all these pipes here. I'm wondering whether we could do something to grab some out of here. Maybe have some sort of setup somewhere with a... Let, let's have a look in the plumbing here. This pitcher pump set up somewhere to, uh, to, to receive the liquids. That, that would be great. 
The question of where is a concerning one. How about if we break this this little bit of wire here, replace it with a heavy watt join plate, and then maybe use this walkway as the place to do it? I, I think we might. I think we might. Let's do that. Let's deconstruct that. This is going to take a few things offline, so I'm going to have to watch pretty tightly to make sure that uh, things don't go too wrong. But I'm hoping as soon as that gets built, as long as it's... it's can, can someone do it? Plank is on the way. Cool. Uh, as soon as someone does do that, I've got, I've got to put this back in, in immediately. And hopefully not have to use too many alarms to, to make that work. Okay, here comes Plank. Nice. I was a little bit worried that they wouldn't be able to reach that. Thankfully, within reach. Okay, so do this up to nine. Who is on it? Curie, Plank, Maxwell, Franklin, and any of them. Any of them will come along. Franklin doing the delivery of the goods. I don't know whether Franklin can actually do any digging. There are a but uh, not digging, any building, sorry. Uh, Irritable Cow. Uh, no, no, she, look, she looks to be able to do every job that we are... Uh, that we have available. Well, 1,034 cycles. Not quite the oldest we have, but definitely one of them. Was Curie the oldest we have? There's three of them somewhere. 1103, this, this might be Plank. Plank might be one of the oldest. Uh, let, let's come over here. I don't think Bore is. I think Bore is the first one that we brought in. Um, 101, yeah, 1,001, sorry. Yeah, Rutherford, uh, 1103. So who, who was the third one? It was Rutherford, Curie, and Plank. Obviously Plank, yes. Hmm, maybe this wasn't such a great plan after all. This is a major cooling unit over here, trying to swap out heat with any of the water coming out from this way. As you can see, it's doing quite well at keeping everywhere uh, chill, but not, not as well as it could be, hey? It's this one that's saying it's already cool enough, if below 24. Okay, alright, it must be keeping it around 12 degrees. That, that That's fine, we'll live with that. Doesn't, doesn't help me solve my where am I putting my petroleum issues, though. I guess we could put it somewhere here. I mean, this is coming out very, very warm, but I guess we can live with it for now. Is this a cooling line? Where's our cooling lines? They're, they're a distance away. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. We're going to use this little area here. Uh, we're going to have an insulated box. Oh, we're going to have to break the bomb, Lily. No, no problem there. No problem there. Uh, and we're only going to have a couple of tiles deep uh, little section. I'm not sure if we get the pitcher pump. Maybe we'll be dropping liquids from above down onto it. I'm not sure how we're going to get the, uh, the valve in there and the pitcher pump occupying the same space. So if I was to, for instance, pop this. Doesn't like it up here. Uh, here. Well, I wonder why it doesn't... Oh, because of the, the ladders, of course. If I then get my liquid vent... Yeah, I'm not allowed to put it here. Okay, that, that, that's a shame. Just figuring out the, uh, the relative placements of everything. Obviously, having a third wide tile would be the ideal option there. I mean, we could pop this insulated tile in here, take this one out. Yeah, that might be how we're doing this, actually. Let me just copy that over there, and then we'll take this one out when everything's been built. Yeah. Of course, one of the other things I wanted to do today was to start pushing this magma up out of these little pits here. See if we can't maybe break some of these, dig these out so we can start making our way over to the sulfur geyser, which is going to become the new food source when we <laughs> when we run out of magma and then can't feed our hatches with igneous rock. But this, this is going to be very hot and I, I don't even know if my duplicates can reach to do it properly. For instance, if I was to break this corner one down, can they reach across to uh, this this insulated granite tile? I don't know. Also, is granite going to melt? No, because it's an insulated tile and the, the temperature doesn't pass back and forth. I do kind of dislike when they do this. Also, I've just got myself a little notification that someone is trapped. Who's trapped? How are you... Ah, oh, Curie, how have you... How have you done this? Like, really? I mean, I do see how you've done this, but that's not what we want. If we put the pitcher pump down in place, what are we going to make it out of? Granite for the improved decor? If we put this down in place, maybe at a high priority so someone else can come along and do it. Let's actually put it on super high priority. But yeah, one of the things I do kind of dislike is when they go through the magma to come and try and fill up stuff. Scolding? Let me guess. Boar? What, what a surprise. Very, very shocked. Not. Uh, looking at the liquid petroleum here, 42 degrees stayed at 42 degrees. So we're, we're okay there. That is not the way I wanted them to go. I might have to start taking out ladders. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Bore is taking away this particular area. Let's go see how uh, Curie is doing. 
What are we making out of this? Granite? Is this granite? No, it's igneous. There's some granite. Hey, let's uh, let's just like dig this and dig that. And Kiri should be able to save herself at that point. That that would be great. Uh, this one's still being dug. Let's, let's just bounce back and forth, see how things are going. So we've got people digging the granite, but Franklin's coming along to make the delivery. Is that what's going on? Okay, yeah, indeed. Uh, and Boar can reach up. Okay, that's, that's really good. The problem with this, of course, now is the fact that uh, no one other than Rutherford can dig the Abyssalite. And Boar's going around. Okay, well, I mean, that's not what I want. That's not even slightly what I want. But I think it's good enough. Uh, how is Curie doing over here? She's not. What? Why? Maxwell is currently delivering some granite. One of the problems that you do face whilst using the alarms is the fact that it will just grab whoever is available to go and make the deliveries. And if whoever is available is a long distance away, sometimes it, it can just take forever. But thankfully, Curie very easily able to patch things. I've just realised she still can't actually get out of here. Am I going to have to... Yeah, I am. I'm going to have to sacrifice this pinch of pepper or we go down here. Okay, let, let, let's do that. Um, and uh, and hopefully that's good. I mean, technically I only need those two. If someone can come along to do those, that'd be great. Over on reverse then. I mean, boy, uh, that's fun, but not what I want you to do. Let's, uh, let's send you over this way because the moment you get out of there, I am... <laughs> Oh man, you, you, you gotta go faster. You've gotta go faster. If you pass out in the magma, we are in trouble. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Well, you get to spend a lot of time in the in the hospital now. Good luck. I say the hospital. We we've got we've got a little triage bed where you can just sit there and be chill. Okay, Boar is being taken care of, and hopefully Rutherford up here, yeah, is digging the tile. That's good. Do not want my duplicates to come over the top again. I, I just don't know. Oh, I've got to, I've got to make sure that someone gets on this straight away. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to restrict, because taking this ladder out, no good. They'll still just jump down and walk across. I would have to take all of the ladders out, and I've made them out of obsidian, so they won't even melt at the bottom. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's keep Rutherford going while we're here, shall we? Let's, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, he kept on wanting to go up and over, so I've had to remove the atmosphere uh, suit from its dock. Uh, and now I can just go through setting the priorities here up in the right order. I say setting the priorities up. I set this one to alarm, he builds it. I then uh, come over and deconstruct the one below it. They they go ahead and deconstruct that. And whilst we're waiting, I mean, I could put that up at a higher priority, but I think with no one actually working on it, we could just go ahead and um, put the alarm on like that. Well, I would normally be worried, as I say, of people climbing over the top, but that's just not going to happen. Okay, great. But whilst me and Rutherford work to push back this hot stuff, I would like to take this moment right here and tell you guys about the hottest stuff in my life. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of people that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. This video will be coming out a little bit later, but I have just got back to university for the beginning of my term and my exam. So of course, trying to find time in my schedule for this is a little bit difficult. And knowing that these beautiful people are relying on me to make some, forth some entertainment really makes sure that I keep this up on my priorities. So uh, thank you so much, guys. I, this is more fun than just working equations all the time. So yeah, that, thanks, guys. It's, it's really good. Okay, that was a strong day of pushing the barrier up. And look how much extra magma we've got in here now. That That is actually super, super impressive. I wasn't expecting it to go up and over the top of the door again. Yeah, that's... That's really strong. Uh, let's uh, deliver this suit. And that's pretty much all we're doing here. Let's go over on Pyax and see what we got going. Uh, somewhere over here. Yeah, great. We want to take out this one uh, and run more tiles down here. So we've got ourselves a little pocket for some liquids to be held here. Uh, I think we're... Li oh, I mean, am I, am I just going to fill in two? Do we want to have a lot of liquids? I might just... Oh, it turns out I can't can't put the uh, the tiles down underneath. This is it. This this is the size you're allowed to build. Mm, is Plank gonna cause himself some trouble there? I, I feel like he's gonna try and get himself caught. Okay, thankfully there was none of that going on. Try and get all this lot swept out of here. Uh, I also need to make a little jump of over where I want to have the liquid vent. Uh, no, 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 get the bridge before I get the vent. We're going to jump the oil over the top of the vent and then have a little out out shoot for the petroleum. 
<laughs> we're gonna almost instantly make ourselves a bunch of dirt here unless someone comes along to pick up all of the stuff no looks like not uh when this algae gets dumped on by the 175 degree petroleum that we got coming out the dirt is going to turn uh sorry the algae is going to turn into dirt it won't cook all the way up into sand that's that's good but uh, a bit, bit of extra dirt is uh, i suppose that's never a problem to be fair i, d I don't think we're going to have a problem with that plank is actually getting fairly stressed here which is a bit of a shame because this is one of my my most uh, well equipped bases i wouldn't really expect him to be getting stressed here but we are so that that's a thing to worry about uh also speaking of things to worry about i should probably have put some sort of on off switch for this are people still coming along to pick up the uh, materials okay no dirt made today i mean i'm gonna say that's good enough for now i'm gonna say that's good enough we come in and like just split the liquid pipe off anytime we need more we can add more that that should be fine now over here we're asking for petroleum we're asking for auto bottle is anybody on those jobs let's have a look at the errands oh plank will be Okay, that's, that's nice. He's got other things to do, such as storing the Abyssalite, but once he's done going around and sweeping the whole area up, he'll also be ready to uh, start pumping some super hot liquids. How long has this wool here been uninsulated? Oh man, that, that's bad. That's probably one of the reasons why we've got such a bad heat um, bleed from here. We've got like 100 degrees on one side and 40 degrees on the other. Yeah, it'd be nice if we kept all the temperature inside. Uh, yeah, I could... Hmm, didn't, didn't even see that at any point. I just... Have I, have I had this the whole time? Wow. Maybe I replaced it at some point. Oh, I'm not sure how that happened. I'm really not sure. Whilst we're here, let's have a check on our squeaky puff from last time. Tame. Brilliant. Beautiful. Many gases? Not many gases. Oh, I didn't see it happen. Ruben going along to store the materials here. Okay, we can do that. Uh, now that the uh, liquids are being dropped, hopefully we... Uh, do you reckon we could get someone to come over right now? Ruben, in fact, before the liquids actually empty out, it would be nice to get some to, like, pour in this way. We look to be coming about halfway down the bottle. I, I've got a feeling Ruben's not actually quick enough to do that. Okay, there we go. That's, that's good. And we've got ourselves a nice, tight seal. Got some popped eardrums. Why have we got some popped eardrums? Oh, man, why, why are people going in here already? This is... I mean, it's a situation to find ourselves in. Let's have a look and see what we got. Oxygen is on the outside. That is fine. It's um, it's a lot of oxygen, though. Nine, nine kilograms. Why? You know what? I think I'm going to solve this by doing that. And, and hopefully that will now even out the temperature there there is very high pressure in here okay airflow tile in place is any of this oxygen gonna uh, we're, we're <laughs> very quickly filling filling this area up are we gonna get the same situation over here where we've got like two kilograms of oxygen I and mean, it's right underneath the gas vent so i'm a little bit worried about it over uh over pressuring but it shouldn't be too bad because it will only overpressure whilst we've got a lot of oxygen to breathe. So that will be fine. Yeah, look at that. It's instantly jumping up 2.1. Uh, oh, I mean, that might even be it. That might even be it. We might not be getting too much higher. Okay, the real question, of course, is how do I get this all built without breaking it irrevocably you know like we, we, we've really got to try and figure this out uh, ideally by just do we just let the water flow through for now and then we hook up to the system as we can that might that might be a way if we do that i should then be able to break this line here uh and then just go nuts wait 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 there's, there's still stuff going on but i, I kind of don't care because i want to just build destroy everything in there uh, and ideally without having any water in there. So if we could if we could figure out how to do that, that, that would be cool. Okay, we're going to use the steam turbine to try and bring this down to a 150 if we can. And of course, there's only one way to make sure all these jobs get done as quick as possible. Yes, indeed. Let's hit those alarms. A little bit worried about my power transformer down here. Obviously, I dropped a whole bunch of super hot petroleum on top of it. And it took a whole bunch of damage from that. But I think we can live. I hope we can live anyway. Worried about people getting so damaged that they uh, actually aren't able to make an escape but i think we'll be fine it's hard to tell with everyone okay plank's in trouble let's send plank to the I'm not, i might even have to turn these back down maybe we're gonna get curie in an atmosphere suit that might be the better way of doing it yeah let, let's put nines down and let everybody escape plank you you need to escape right now ruben you you are also escaping okay this is good right everyone is indeed running away now 
Much better. Much better. Uh, okay, so how are we going to do this? I've seen a... Oh, there, there isn't one on the floor here. I'm going to make an extra atmosphere suit. Apart from we can't. Why not? We, we're missing a whole bunch of materials. Just just any any refined material. Okay, th this is weird. Okay, let's come across to the copper ore. Let's put this up to like six or seven. Uh, and turn this up as well. This is a, a limiter, making sure I don't make too much sand. But if we turn this up to like 300, I'm, I'm okay to have a lot more kicking about for the time that we need to do this in. This one is still on a super high priority. I'm not that bothered. Uh, incapacitated. Plank. Okay, people should be taking him to the triage cot though. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's have a look over here. Errands. Uh, heal. Deliver. Where's the, where's the delivery one? Well, I mean, Franklin's on it anyway. That's good enough. Curie, where? No, you... No, Curie, you cannot. Uh, you're assigned, but you're not going to it. I bet that's because that was the last um, alarm priority. Yeah, Franklin also in trouble. Hmm. Thankfully, Franklin is also coming along to make the copper that we're going to use to make one of these. We've got five kilograms. We need a fair amount more. Okay, as everybody's ill, we're gonna get Curie out of bed. Can we get her out of bed or is she still like, this place is mine, don't... Let's put Franklin in there. Uh, Curie is going to go... She's not She's not best pleased, but you know, whatever. She's gonna come along and pick up the, uh, the exo suit, wear that as a, a nice little uh, fashion accessory. She's not gonna have any oxygen in there. I don't care. I don't care that she's got no oxygen in there. She can hold her breath like she's walking through carbon dioxide and go and fix all of this stuff down down here. It's very important that we one, get this liquid bridge destroyed. Uh, hopefully that is the next thing Curie is working on. What, what are you doing now, Curie? Uh, I bet she's going back for some oxygen. I don't know... Oh, she's going to triage the patient. No. <laughs> That's not your job. That's not your job at all. I don't know whose job it is, but it's certainly not yours. It's probably Boars. No, not Boars. Who's we, who have we got over here? Probably Maxwell's or Rubens, right? Okay, I think I've got this right. The water comes down here, down uh, across... Past the uh, the sensor that tells this aqua tuner whether to turn on or off. If it can't, it goes down and jumps. But if it does, it comes through to the green where it comes down, rejoins the line that jumps. Then both go up for a second temperature check. Go through the uh, the, the thermal aqua tuner if it can. If not, it goes down, jumps over. If it can, it comes in. Yeah, that, that, that's good. That's good. Now we just need Curie to go ahead and build everything. I mean, alternatively, nighttime could be cool. I mean, yeah, all right, cool. Unequip that suit. Let Kiri go deal with whatever she needs to deal with overnight. And uh, hopefully everybody else is going to have a good time in the hospital overnight. Franklin really looks like she could do with it. Plank as well. Maxwell not looking the worst. Uh, Ruben is... Everybody had a bad time in that steam room, it turns out. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Okay, simple job today. Just follow Curie around, and then every time she walks past here, go, hey, actually, you want to wear the suit. And if she comes back out the other way, tell her to take the suit off. I think that should work for us, and hopefully she's just going to go ahead and build this whole system straight off. Okay, she dropped some, some materials there. That must have been the point where I interrupted her. I was like, hey, could you wear the suit? And she was like, I'll drop everything and do so. I mean, I suppose that's cool. Curie, where's, where's your atmosphere suit gone? What... What, what, what has happened here? Okay, you can go in and do that, but wh what happened to it? What did you what did you do? <laughs> I don't know what she did with it. I actually, is it dumped here? I don't see it dumped here. Could it be dumped here? I don't see it dumped there. What what happened to it? Did you melt it? I don't think she would melt it. She's definitely, yeah, not wearing it. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to need to move you out of here and try and find out what happened to that clothing. Unequipped clothing? Wait, what? Ah, I'm very confused. Let, oh, that, that'll be the, uh, the snazzy suit she's wearing, but what? What, a, what, a, what about the thermo suit? Oh, man. Okay, here's the problem. Ruben's wearing one, and then we've got a full uh, full lineup there. Okay, so let, let's just grab that one uh, and assign it to Curie, and then hopefully she'll get back on the, the job. How she ended up out there is beyond me. Maxwell, what are you doing? It's not your job, my friend. Back to the point where we're probably gonna have to swap Maxwell out with Plank now. Man, that that that's kind of kind of awkward. Uh, Mac Maxwell, you 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 gotta move, my friend. You are not in the best of. Oh man, how how do we get you out of here? Bad things are happening, and I don't want to cancel everything. Uh, let's go to priorities, and maybe we can remove any of Maxwell's supplying priorities. Like, would that that help? No, he's, oh, oh, I thought he, I really thought he was about to die then. Oh, I mean, he kind of did. Hopefully someone's on it. Hopefully Plank's on it. 
Let's uh, let's have a look over here. I think somewhere in here it should tell us. Number one is Maxwell, but it doesn't say who's actually making the delivery. Uh, that's a shame. I mean, is it Plank? It's not Plank. Let, let's have a look over here. Maybe it is Rescue Friend. It is Curie. Okay, that that's fine, I suppose. Oh no, it happened! It happened! It happened! Quick, alarm, alarm, alarm! We broke a water pipe. I didn't think we were going to break a water pipe. I thought all we were doing was um, adding water pipes. Maybe I changed... Uh, well, whatever. Um, I added a water pipe and some of it flowed over this way, causing some big troubles. We got oxygen... I, th I think this little splodge of water right here is saving us from uh, all sorts of troubles. But hopefully someone's going to come along at uh, 98, 97. Actually, that's not too bad. It's not It's not getting hotter. It's not getting hotter. Uh, I, I am going to leave. It happened again. What's going on? Okay, more petroleum being dumped down here. I mean, I'm, I'm all about that. I am all about that. Things have been broken. Oh, I, I know what's been broken here. I purposefully asked this. Where, where is it? Power transformer. Can we have a steel one? And we're going to put it that way round. Okay, we've got both working now. I'm a little bit worried that maybe, yeah, I'm overloading this power line. If I go ahead and break this here, though, that should bring us into line. <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean there's no power? You should be bringing power from there, down, and across. I mean, we could do with a battery in line. Maybe we'll throw one, like, literally just over here. Power, smart battery, bam. We're going to have to put down some tiles for it to sit on, and then this wire goes across to there. Hopefully that will help as well uh, but everything's looking good let's get this all swept out of here overload damage is of course the wire why what the two ah wait this is too much power there is an easy fix of course of course we break this wire here we bring this wire wait grab me that please i wonder if actually we can put this as a larger power transformer and power it like so that would be great. It is going to require some more moving around of equipment, but I think that's fine. I mean, after just ripping everything down power-wise, I'm now going to do exactly the same again. I'm fairly sure we can get this nicer in here. But also, this does, once everything's been swept up, mean that all of this is hopefully fixed. I, I, would, I would like this at a really high priority to be repaired. Well, it's almost exactly the same mess that we had before, but uh, it, it makes a little bit more room for the large power transformer. And now we have both of these turning over. We're taking water in at 44 and we are spitting out at 16. I'm hoping this is already making a difference. I mean, we can watch the water sieve temperature literally drop a 0.1 of a degree as uh, every second that we're watching. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's doing its job. Uh, so we're spitting out water at 15. By the time we come over here, we're 16. Of course, these first blobs are going to be taking the full brunt of everything that we have to throw at it. So that that is a bit of a problem. Um, but it's a problem that will even itself out. I'm just trying to think about how we can get some more water into this line. Look, we've got a, an actual break in the line right there and that is because well that's because of the way that we had set it up but i think we can draw some water from there Let, let's do that let's go to plumbing and the liquid bridge let's let's just tidy this up i'm actually going to get curie in so we can do it before night time is cooled she's gone and dropped her dropped her suit again she's gone and dropped her suit again what what is this uh also I think it's time to seal this place up. I, I, I definitely feel like we can get away with that. Maybe just that one tile. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. Also, super high priority, please. Who, whoever's coming along to do it. Just, just someone, please do it. Speaking of, here we go. This is the, the beginnings of some of the little gaps in the cooling line. So now this one, yep, completely filled in. Where's the next big gap? Uh, we, it, it's a little way off. I find it quite satisfying watching the, uh, the empty pipe fill up from the... Uh, from the gap here. Oh, looks like we had a little bit of a problem, so there is going to be a small gap in the system. I'm not that bothered by that. Maxwell, of course, just came along. You heard the alarm turning off. That is this tile here being filled up. Still leaving the petroleum just in case we need to get back in there, but I feel like we are fully sealed up, fully working, double the pack, the cooling power. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where I think we're finally on the path to the poke shells. Over this way in the ocean biome, we've got these weird little crab things and they are one of the things that's stopping me making as much 
as much steel as I could possibly want to make. So I will see you then when we're starting to prepare to do that. Bye.